Get to it, Phelps. Run your own errands. I'm busy. You know the way. You can drive. So you and Rusty have been having discussions. Anything you would like to tell me, partner? Phelps, don't be so touchy. Rusty had his best ever clearance rate working with you. Even if the cases he worked on can't be discussed. Nice house. LAPD, ma'am. Is Mrs. Evestrom in? But she is. Would you follow me, sir? I am Mrs. Evestrom. How may I help you? We appear to have recovered some stolen goods that belong to you, ma'am. Yes, of course. That terrible burglary. Would you like something to drink? No, thank you, ma'am. We have some questions, if you don't mind. Why would I mind, young man, if you are returning 43 pieces of my property? Okay, before we get down to that, I'll have a scotch. Thanks, straight up. Maria, can you get the detective a drink, please? Can you describe to us what was stolen? It would be easier to describe what wasn't stolen, detective. <laughs> a priceless tiara that has been in the family for 50 years. A Fabergé cigarette case that was worth $25,000. Why are you lying about the value of your jewelry, Mrs. Evestrom? Who do you think you are, making heinous accusations in my own home? We recovered the cigarette case from a pawnbroker. No one knows the real value of an item better than those guys. I inflated its value for the insurance claim. There, are you satisfied? My daughter's boyfriend was quite taken with the case. I think he was even more disappointed than I was when it was stolen. What can you tell us about the burglary? A terrible night, at least a year ago. But let's not go into that. Let's talk about what you've recovered. Were you in the house when the burglary took place? Good heavens, no. I was at a social function held by a Dr. Harold Stoneman and his lovely wife. I returned home and all of my things were missing. That's about it for now, Mrs. Eastrom. The department will get in touch and let you know how you can recover your valuables. You have only mentioned a few of the items that have been stolen, Detective. What else has been recovered? You see, Phelps, that's why you get the drinks in early. Hello, Mother! Hello, Detectives. What is going on? We'd like to ask exactly the same question. You have met my daughter? This morning at work. Oh, Mother and Father divorced. I took my father's name. The Detectives recovered some of the things that were stolen, darling. Well, what did you find? A sapphire ring on the corpse of Julia Randall. What are you talking about? Your engagement ring, Miss Swanson. Would you be surprised to know that it was part of the proceeds of a burglary? That's an outrageous allegation! Yes, it is. I suggest we go straight to Henry Arnett's place and sort this mess out. We need to get to Arnett's apartment. He's the key to all of this.
Take the next left. We're missing something here. Arnett is obviously arranging the burglars. Straight ahead. That's my fiance you're making scurrilous accusations about. And Randall was obviously his partner. But neither of them are the type to creep apartments. Straight over the next dinner. You're being ridiculous. Both of you. There's, there's a very good explanation for all of this. It's the next right. What a sock in it, sister. You're being played for a patsy and you're not even smart enough to see it. You need to take the next right. Go right here. Straight ahead. It's the next left. It's the next right. Go straight over. Straight over. Straight on. Go straight through. Straight through the next intersection. Go straight. Go straight through. Go straight. Go straight over. Go straight at the next intersection. Straight over. Go straight at the next intersection. Straight over. Keep going straight. Straight through the intersection. Take the next right turn. Straight through the next intersection. Go straight over. It's the next right. Go straight. Go straight over. Straight through the next intersection. Straight over. Next right. Take a left, here. Turn left up ahead. Left turn here. Next left. 